Hello there. Welcome to this English lesson. This is an intermediate vocabulary lesson in which I will teach you some words that you can use to talk about space. We'll do this by describing three pictures. Here's the first picture. The vocabulary is on the right. So, first is astronaut, moon, trippy, dream, reflection, pink, sci-fi. So the challenge is trying to use these words to describe the picture. If you don't know, I'll just give a brief description about each word. Astronaut is a person who travels to space. Moon is right here. I'm sure you know that. Uh, trippy is an adjective that means something is really cool or really interesting, really beautiful, really weird. It's a unique word, trippy. Uh, dream. This kind of this picture kind of looks like a dream, right? Reflection. And when you look in a mirror, what you can see is your reflection. So you can see the astronaut's reflection here. Pink is just a color. And sci-fi, it's short for science fiction. So this is a genre of movies, TVs, books, sci-fi. It's like Star Wars or uh, what else? Star Trek. Star Wars. That's all sci-fi. So how can we use this uh, in a sentence to describe the picture? Here's the example. I see an astronaut and his reflection. Behind him is a moon and pink clouds. This looks like a trippy dream in a sci-fi movie. So if you are ever in an English test, where you have to describe a picture. Here's an example of how you can take some good vocabulary and combine it into a simple answer. The next picture, it's also on the theme of space, but it has some new words. Satellite, orbit, atmosphere, technology, Gravity, reflective, amazing. So there we have some, some more difficult words than the first picture, for sure. Um, so a satellite is this device which goes around the Earth in space. And uh, we don't say that it goes around the Earth. The verb is orbit. So satellites orbit the Earth, okay? And uh, this is the Earth's atmosphere. The sky, the clouds, all of the various chemicals and gases that's called atmosphere. So we can say the satellite is orbiting above the Earth's atmosphere. It's uh, obviously a type of technology um, gravity, the force which pulls things down towards the Earth. Gravity. Reflective. In the first picture, you remember we had reflection, which is a noun. Reflective is an adjective. So you use it to describe something. You can say, the satellite has a reflective surface. And in my opinion, that picture is quite amazing. So let's look at the example. This satellite is orbiting the planet. We can see this amazing technology peacefully gliding above the atmosphere. The material of the satellite is reflective. The planet's gravity prevents the satellite from floating away into deep space. So there's an example of how you can use those words to describe this picture in a simple, straightforward way. The third picture is pretty cool. 
in my opinion, it's a UFO, which uh, is short for Unidentified Flying Object. The universe is the totality of everything that exists. It's called the universe. There's a lot of stars. Light speed. Light speed. Traveling at the speed of light. So that's very fast speed. Uh, mystery. That, that is something which you cannot explain. You could say, this is a mystery. I don't understand it. It's a mystery. Existence. It's a noun to describe everything that exists. We could say, it's like life, you know? Existence. Life. Existence is a mystery. It's a colorful background. And the whole concept of UFOs is quite strange. Let's try to use them in an example. This strange UFO is flying through the universe at light speed. Behind it are colorful galaxies and bright stars. This photo makes me wonder about the mystery of the existence of aliens. So a good tip here is to uh, first, for the first two sentences, just describe what you see in the image. But for the third sentence, you can talk about how you feel. This gives you an opportunity to use different types of words and to expand your vocabulary and really show that you can master the English language. So uh, I hope that you learned some new vocabulary and you should practice by writing one paragraph to describe each picture. And uh, thank you for watching. If you're taking an English test or something, good luck. I hope you do well. And I hope you learn how to describe pictures more professionally and efficiently. Thank you.